Kadesh Kale guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video, we're back with another weapon review. Today, we're going to be looking at another weapon that was Sunset previously, but Bungie realized, yeah, there was no loot in Beyond Light, so they brought back some of the old weapons that were Sunset, and one of them is going to be the Waking Vigil. Now, the Waking Vigil, I think out of all the ones that came back, this and Blasphemer were the most important. Waking Vigil, though, was a, it was just a baby to a lot of people. This is one of those weapons. It's really weird in Destiny. There's always these really niche weapons that people swear by in D2. Like, they own, they love the weapon. They loved it for some reason. It wasn't, like, full-on meta. But certain groups of people just used to always use this. It was their meta weapon. It was their meta weapon, not the meta overall. And the Waken Vigil was one of those weapons. It used to be a 150. Now it's 140 RPM. Obviously, it's adaptive frame. But the Waken Vigil used to absolutely slap PvP. The Waken Vigil itself, it is a Dreaming City weapon, so you get it from Dreaming City things. I've got two different roles. Let me tell you, this was hard to grind. I did the freaking Shadow Throne every single week, and my god, this is the only two roles I've ever gotten. I've got the Side Foster HCS, or I've got Crossfire HCS. I've also got a Panda Mag, so increase my magazine. It increases to 14, or I got Rick Sharans for extra stability and obviously range. I also got the trait Killing Wind, Final Blows grants increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. And last but not least, I've got opening shot, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. So you can see my role is actually really, really good. The only thing I would try to stick on is maybe high Kali rounds or whatever. But the Wake and Vigil, you'll see on the screen all the other sorts of roles you can get. So as I said, you can get high Kali rounds, rapid hit, kill clip, even like killing wind kill clip, range finder kill clip, or opening shot. This is, was an insane weapon. Back in the day, the god roll for this was kind of like slide shot and obviously opening shot and everything. This thing for 150 used to map people. And it is energy, so it opened up that kinetic slot. But the Wake of Vigil, yeah, we gotta prove just how good this thing can be. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the Wake and Vigil. Alrighty, so we are gonna be on uh, Pacifica with our Waken Vigil, and this is probably gonna be where it's gonna be good. Obviously, 140s, they don't have the greatest range, but this roll actually has decent range, and also on a map that's close quarters, you don't really that need that much range, you just need to be able to slay out, and yeah, there we go, there's the kills, and oh, mama, there's the triple dipple. Uh, with the killing wind on this, it's so sweet just for multi kills or whatever. Now, that guy is 1 HP. No, no, no. He froze me. Oh, I'm alive. How did, I, how did I survive being frozen? I have no idea, but look at this guy. He's just jumping up like a madman. Oh, bro, 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 bro. No, bro, bro. Oh, my God. He's got to get away. He's got to get away. Ah! Oh, I jumped too much. I jumped way too much. God dang it. We could have got a roll going there. But you can see the waking vigil. It's pretty accurate. And the weight shoots as well. Just listen to it. It has a really nice energy sound to it. I know I really like kinetic weapons, but this is just... It just sounds super nice. Now, I didn't get Killing Wingo going or anything like that. And I'm getting flinched to all hell because 120's flinch is insane. <laughs> but yeah, the 140's, they can do well. Obviously, time to kill is going to be better than 120's because... Obviously, it's a high RPM. I will say, though, this was... I think at the time, this was, like, everyone's favorite. was more when it was a 150. 150's... They were meta for a while with like Dire Promise, Spare Rations, everything. That's when the 150s were like at their peak. Wake and Vigil was up there with them. It was like the energy equivalent to your Spare Rations and stuff. And that's why a lot of people love to use it. As I said, one four, as a 140, it can still do well. Now, I just got one tap by throwing knife. I mean, I applaud the accuracy, but come on, why? I can never get a kill streak going with this, though. We just need to absolutely slay out a bit more. Ooh, he is dead. Thank God. I think the best thing about the Wake and Vigil, though, is that it's a 140 RPM. It's going to be contending with the L Palindrome. Palindrome is obviously 142, but it is only in the nightfall and everything. So, oh my God, we're slaying. We slaying, we slaying. Oh, kill him, boys. Kill him, kill him. But yeah, Wake and Vigil 140, Palindrome 140. So, it's sort of like a different version, like, and it's easier to kind of get than, obviously, the other one. Can you die for me? Oh. Oh, 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 I'm running out of ammo. Get me out, get me out. Just, just dip, just. Oh my god, no. Dirty, survive. I got your back, Jack. Oh, we got him. Oh, dirty, survive. Survive, dirty. How are we doing this? Dirty, survive. Oh my god, I'm having an aneurysm over here trying to keep the guy. No. Oh, dirty's alive, though. Dirty died. I was trying to keep him alive. He's low leveled. I want him to live. But yeah, back to the main point to not being freaking chaotic as hell. Uh, Wake and Vigil is like the other one, or the Palindrome is like a different version of this. It is Void, this is Ark. So for most people, they'd be like, oh, I get the Wake and Vigil instead of getting the other thing. Oh my god, we're actually 
Just freaking delete. Dirty, don't worry, I got your back, Jack. They got your back, thank you. So for people who can't get a, a palindrome or just don't nightfall or anything like that, this is definitely a good substitute. And honestly, rolls-wise, I feel like this actually has better rolls than palindrome. It's got the rangefinder, it's got kill clip. I mean, rolls, it's just gonna be better, but now obviously... Oh, I'm so freaking dead. Obviously, though, when it comes to intrinsics and everything like that, they are slightly different and... Honestly, I think if they brought 150s back, man, that would be a lot of fun. But I think the Wake of Vigil, you can see it is a solid ass hand cannon. Oh, thank God you shut him down. Screw you, Nathan, and your behemoth. Oh, we'll get this guy super fast, though. Oh, he's one shot. He's one shot, boys. He's one shot. Get him. Get his booty. Where you at? There we go. There we go. Oh, let me get this guy. And I missed. There's a glacial quake on it. <gasps> no! Survive! Oh, 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 I survived. No! Oh, his wall is used, being used against him. His wall is being used against him. Oh my god, can we just not please? Pacifica, when a behemoth goes around, it is just impossible to see anything. The walls go everywhere. You don't know what's going on. It's just, it's a freaking nightmare. But look at this guy. I mean, being able to triple tap again. Oh, 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 we alive, we dead. I'm so confused. We got a golden gun though. But being able to um, triple tap again with a 140, it feels glorious. Pacifica really goes in for that. I will still say though, a lot of people, Bye. PvP anyway, will just stick to their 120s set. 120s are just so consistent right now. They're so freaking good. So I do understand why you will like rather to use them. And I just got one tap like by the 120. And obviously I do have a god roll and I'm still having some fall off. Like I've got the opening shot. I've got the killing wind and everything. You can get range finder on this too. So you can maximize the 140s range or whatever. But I still will say that, oh, 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 double kill, shredded, bruh. I still will say, though, a lot of people will go for their 120s because they're just so much easier to use or whatever and be more consistent with. But I'm going to get rushed by a shotty in two seconds. Oh, you there, bro? You there? Oh, he is there. <laughs> screw you, buddy. Screw you. Oh, someone else challenging. Someone else challenging. Oh, it's a, it's a Titan, boy. It's a Titan. It's a Titan. Screw you. Oh, no, no. Ah, ah, ah. Sidearm killed me. Oh, you ain't you ain't gonna do me like that. You ain't gonna use my meta weapons against me, are you? Is that how it's gonna go? Freaking sidearm meta, sidearm meta, sidearm meta. I will say honestly, this this 140, this is feeling super nice right now. I honestly really do like it. The Waking Vigil, it was never bad. Honestly, it was literally just that it came. Obviously, got sunset and everything. The Waking Vigil was always one of the better 140s to use though. And I honestly think that for those guys who used to live and breathe it, it's definitely worth getting again. It feels just as good as it used to. Obviously, a bit lower. Or RPM and everything, but the freaking way it feels, I missed a couple of shots, but the way it feels, it's just so nice, the energy feeling it gives, it's like, I don't know, it's a really weird feeling, it's, it just makes it really feel like an energy though, and some people just like that, and like, the accuracy on it as well though, you can see, it's very, very accurate, I do have opening shot obviously, which is insane in the hand cannon, but it's still, even regardless of that, it still feels super freaking nice, now I'm gonna get thunder. oh, 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 Freaking thunder crash! But as I said, a lot of people are in like nightfalls and so trying to gr grind out a palindrome god roll when you can literally get better rolls on Awaken Vigil. But obviously, it's not as farmable because you can only do certain things each week and we just slate out again. Oh, bro, bro, bro! No, no! Oh, we got him! Oh, we gotta do it, boys! Oh, he's one shot, boys. He's one shot. Uh, no, he's not one shot anymore. Guys, stop letting him kill you. Why don't try to kill him? Thank you. My God. <laughs> we got him, though. He took out like half my team, but we got them. It's obviously not as farmable as obviously the uh, Nightfall and everything for a God Roll. But it's definitely where if you do get a God Roll of this, man, it can shred out. I have a God Roll, I feel. And you can see it just annihilates PvP. 42 opponents defeated 3.82. Oh, Yozerus uh, outfragged me. But yeah, this weapon, this Waking Vigil, it's just as sweet as it used to be, guys. It's so good. For people who are enthusiasts or who were enthusiastic about this weapon, go back and get it, guys. You'll be well impressed. All right, all right, all right. Time for the PvE side of the review with the Wake and Vigil. Now, obviously, PvE, I know a lot of people are like, oh, PvP and everything. But PvE, the Wake and Vigil, this is where it was important as well. It was, a, as I said, it was a jam for people to PvP, but in PvE was also their thing. It was so good PvE. Especially with the roles you could get. As I said, you used to be able to get Dragonfly, obviously, kill clip and stuff. But honestly, a lot of people, you can see the Dragonfly. I do have the Dragonfly spec on as well. This is a different role, by the way. So if this can, can, can this thing die? Come on, thank you. <laughs> 
But I do have a different role, Wake and Vigil, so I got Outlaw Dragonfly on this one, so. And this is more of my PvE role, and then my other one's obviously my God Roll PvP role. But when it comes down to these, the weapon PvE, it's honestly super good, as I said. For a lot of people, they're using weapons, like, obviously, their Palindrome is up, and they're all grinding out for Palindrome. They're all really wanting this up. But guys, the Wake and Vigil, rose-wise and everything else, this is just as good. It's honestly just... It's so nice, PvE. And PvP, it just... I don't know why everyone's on this palindrome buzz of... Gotta get a palindrome, gotta hit a palindrome. I mean, maybe because it's so easy to farm. That would be one reason, but... For the most part, it's honestly just as good. Or even better. I feel like the rolls on this are actually a lot better. And it's easier to farm, or not farm, but it's easier to get a good roll. Because the, uh, the loot pool of this weapon isn't bad at all. It's actually quite smart. Obviously, against these sorts of guys, I'm gonna be able to do a bit more extra damage. Because, obviously... Shields are on him, so I can shred his shields because this is an energy weapon. It is arc. I honestly think the Wake of Vigil, it's kind of being slept on. You don't even hear much about it. Maybe because it came back and most people are just new content and everything. I do get that. But for the most part, the Wake and Vigil is so sweet PvE. You can just see it actually shreds out enemies. And the speed it goes at, it's just super nice just for consistency's sake. Dragonfly wise. And good damage at 140. I think 140 is obviously... They are the better archetype for PvE. Oh my god, we're getting absolutely stomped right now. There is someone that's probably evil, so we're gonna... Go. Oh, try to kill that thing. It did not track at all. It did not track, but we'll get rid of this guy's shield. And there is where it's obviously gonna come in sweet, as I said. This for a lot of people. This was, like, literally their god roll for PvE. In terms of, uh, obviously, opening shot and he, or outlaw and uh, dragonfly. There is other rolls, too. You can get Vorpal. You can get kill clip. There is a lot of really sweet rolls for this one. That you can get that obviously make it like a lot better. So PVE wise, this has a lot of good solid rolls. That's what I'm saying. Even when you're grinding out for like a PVP roll or whatever, you can get some solid ass PVE rolls. That we just lost, we got stomped. But honestly, PVE, this is not to be slept on either. This is a really solid PVE weapon. Well, that's it from me and the Wake and Vigil hand cannon. Honestly, guys, this is a dope ass hand cannon. I think when it became a 140, it used to be 150. Once it became a 140, a lot of people kind of said, "Oh, I don't really want to use it anymore. It's not as good." But it's still absolutely slap. And guys, it claps cheeks in PvP. This roll I had, the killing wind opening shot, obviously with a range and everything. It's just so sweet. We are on Pacifica, but it just shreds. It just absolutely deletes people. If you got the high Kali rounds as well, you'd be flinching them into the next dimension. The Wake of Vigil, I think it's been somewhat slept on right now. I don't see a lot of people using it. Now, that just could be me not running into people having it or using it and everything. But I think a lot of people are just going for that palindrome. I don't get it. Palindrome is good, don't get me wrong. Palindrome is a sweet uh, hand cannon. It's very nostalgic and everything. Thing, it looks cool too but in terms of just like being a good weapon the wake and visual i think is better perk pool wise farmability wise it's easier and i think the wake and visual is kind of being like slept on a bit i think people need to get get their hands on this again as i said there is that group that solid group it's like a weird fandom for the wake and visual people used to just love it it used to be their pve weapon it used to be pvp weapon people need to get back to it i think the it's just as good as it used to be. Not as high RPM, but definitely in terms of ability of what it can do. PvE as well, it's super sweet. PvP, it's super sweet. I just think overall, the Wake and Vigil is just so good in, P in Destiny 2 right now. I think that it's better than Palindrome, me personally. The way Palindrome shoots may be a bit better for some people because it's more kinetic feel. This is like really, really high energy feeling to it. So yeah, screw the Palindrome, guys. You don't need to farm Nightfalls. You don't want to be putting in the extra effort of fighting champions and stuff. Just go into your Shadow Thrones, do your Dreaming City uh, Ascendant challenges and everything, and you could get gifted a Wake and Vigil. And because the perk pool is so small, you probably have close to a God Roll for either PvE and PvP. But regardless, if you liked the video, chose a like, and you want to see more content, subscribe for Fantastic Day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.